All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. I've been on y'all an update on our Ram Charger revival. So I guess let's just get to it. So I think I started with the hard part first. Um, and I say hard part, more challenging. The truck now has new door rubbers. I left the uh, inner felt out because I didn't know if we're going to get this window retinted or not. And I hate to uh, pop that felt into place and then they have to pull it back out when they're trying to tint. It just makes a little lot nicer job to go ahead and uh, be able to get it underneath that tent. So currently also uh, electric window motors. This thing uh when it pulled into here or i got it off the trailer basically had wooden wedges shoved everywhere to hold the windows up uh <laughs> you could grab the window and just pull it up and down and all that so i hit my switch she goes down like a frown and right on up i actually talked to the great eric dudman about where to get that stuff um i got that one switch out over there because i need to probably replace it they're kind of hard to find uh driver side same way but you hit the button she's down smooth as silk like brand it actually rolls up better than my 21 model ram does so i started with that business and i wanted it done lubed all my latches all that stuff's nice the door closes nice now um which just a little bit of lube helped that there's a part, well, well, I'll come back to this in a minute. Um, under the hood. So I took a couple days and pressure washed under here again, hand washed, uh, scrubbed. It's not perfect, but it's a lot, lot better. Um, I pulled out our stuff that we had through here for, uh, I don't know what you call it, just splash guards, basically. Uh, and then repainted the K member. I'm gonna re I will repaint the front end when I'm done with that stuff. I've been checking online for the kit that eliminates all the goofy vacuum lines. So when I get that off, I can uh, wire wheel that and reshoot it. Uh, so vacuum lines will be gone. It'll be cable operated, which is pretty trick, I think, uh, for the four wheel drive. And then I figured I'm on the front end. I might as well keep going uh, before the truck. It's supposed to get a 360, and uh, that's the other thing. Transfer case and transmission are at the shop getting rebuilt. Uh, so they should be ready probably by the end of the uh, month. This is May we're into now. So end of this month, I should be looking for those. Stuff's moving the drive shafts. I took to Dynamic Drive Line in North Little Rock, Arkansas, because uh, it had kind of a funky uh, CV joint in that front shaft. If you'll remember that video, it was... It was pretty bad and the splines themselves were just sloppy worn out. So that's okay at low speed, right? Um, no, that's, she's a no good. She was rough. So I'm just eating this elephant one bite at a time. And now we're down to our front end stuff. So I don't typically, which is yeah, painted this frame rail and stuff. Um, I don't typically deal with a lot of four-wheel drive stuff. I've had two in my life, and I think neither one had lockout hubs. They they had the small bolt pattern, and this is the big bolt pattern stuff with this uh, kind of goofy front locker thing. So I decided to, just like y'all do, jump on YouTube uh, and look it up. And sure enough, you know who had a video about it. 85 Dodge Ram Charger, Dana 44 front. Uh, axle um, We got some work to do we'll replace the caliper We're gonna replace the brake holes pads uh, Repack the bearings inside here. So thank you Tim for your video. That was very helpful um, I got this side torn down. I ordered a bunch of parts today suspension stuff brakes um, Let me run over the list. So had to get new rotors obviously that one can uh, there's no way they're going to grind that out of there. Uh, so new rotors coming. Uh, something I didn't expect was upper and lower ball joints. Check this out. 
they're nice and loose like a tooth uh which just goes to show you um i got my drive shaft on this side torn apart uh new u joints for our drive shafts uh, bearing seals brake pads get new calipers i think this one was stuck anyway but uh, i think they were only 28 bucks a piece or something might as well do it new uh yeah basically getting the works on the front end so it'll be like a brand new truck when it leaves out of here that's hopefully the theme of all of them i probably won't do a video on installing all that stuff because there's a million of them out there um uh, thanks to tim again at 318 will run i'll put a link to that video if you want to see it it's just a he did a real simple install i believe on his wife's old ram charger uh front brakes and all that differential stuff so here's our quick update uh we're going to start into a kind of a light engine build on this uh truck the heads right now are at ed's machine uh he's getting those checked out for me uh, valve job and stuff like that and the short block do i can go ahead and start building on that when we get our 508 finished up so thank y'all for watching and i'll catch you next time